What's going on guys, Astro here with Hidden Profits Crypto, a channel focused on bringing you the best low cap hidden gems and turning you into a smart risk, high reward investor. Today we're going to be making a video on how to use the KD Swap Dex uh, that recently came out on Cadena. I know a lot of people have been very excited for it and waiting to get their hands on the KDS token. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use it, how you can swap your KDA for KDS. And also we're going to address a little bit of the FUD that's been going on today at the end of the video. So make sure to stick all the way through. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so here we are at the exchange. This is kdswap.exchange. Now, first, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the tabs up here at the top. You've got your liquidity, um, and this is where you can add liquidity if you're interested in doing so. Uh, so you go ahead and click this, and then you're going to want to pick the two tokens uh, that you want to add liquidity. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this video, but we're going to go ahead over here to the pools. So here you can see all of the pools uh, and all the information relating that with the two tokens. And then you have the tokens page, which is all the tokens that are available on the exchange uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to swap now something I wanted to make uh, clear is that this is on chain one uh, you can't see it but it is there uh, chain one you'll see it at the bottom of your screen so make sure the wallet that you're using is chain one now you can click here and you can get a chart of uh, all the prices so that way you can track and see what's going on uh, this is for the kdl token but you can switch in between the different uh, time frames so that's pretty nice and then here is where you're going to pick your token now a lot of people are having trouble finding it the kds token is here at the bottom and uh, i know people were complaining about there not being a scroll bar but if you just scroll down a little bit it is right there uh, so you're going to want to connect your wall up here in the top right uh, it's going to ask you um, if you want to use zellcore or um, X wallet. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put my Zellcore wallet address in here. All right. So I wanted to also quickly show how to connect the X wallet because I'm sure there'll be a lot of people who would be interested in using the X wallet with this. Uh, so if you click connect wallet here, you're going to go ahead and click X wallet. Now make sure you're already signed in, um, but it will go ahead and just connect. Um, and now it will ask you um, what chains you want to give access to. Uh, I would suggest just doing chain one because it's operating on chain one. So really won't need uh, to know uh, what balances are on chain zero or two. So uh, yeah, pretty simple there, but um, I figured there might be some people that might not know how to do it. And then we're gonna click uh, the KDS. So that way we have KDA and KDS. Now you can see here I already have a balance of some, uh, so I am going to just add a little bit, but you can click max here if you wanna max it out. I'm just gonna put one in here for the tutorial as I already did the swap, but unfortunately screwed up the recording. Uh, so we're doing this a second time, but you can see here the price per KDA and the amount that you're gonna get. Um, and then it will take you to this confirm swap page. And this will also show your slippage, uh, price impact, and the liquidity provider fee all right here and also like the price you're gonna be paying uh, per. Now, if you wanna switch your slippage and the transaction deadline, you can do that here, um, but we're not gonna mess with that. So we're gonna click swap and then we're gonna confirm. Now it's gonna ask you to please sign the transaction. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to Zellcore um, where it's just going to uh, ask you to sign and send. So once you go ahead and verify that everything is correct, um, you can click sign and send, and then that will send you back over um, to the exchange where the transaction will be pending. Now it will take a minute, so just give it a minute to go through. Um, I wouldn't really try to mess with it. You might end up screwing the transaction up. I know some people are having issues with it failing, um, but just give it a minute, let it do its thing, and we'll come back when it's all finished up. All right, once the transaction is successful, you should see this page and it will say transaction successful. You can go ahead and close out of that. Now it will show your transaction history here. Um, and if you wanna find that, you can go up to the top right um, where the wallet is and you can click on that and it'll say transaction history. Um, but it does take a minute for the transactions to show up. So make sure you give it a minute um, to show up. You can see here, this was the last swap I did for the video <laughs> that it didn't work. Um, but if we go back to swap here and switch this back to KDS, you'll see the full amount that I have balance wise. Um, so yeah. Also, I figured I would go ahead and address some of the FUD that has been going on today. Uh, there's been a ton of talk of, um, you know, insider trading, um, all sorts of just weird stuff. Um, apparently, the exchange became available for other countries um, earlier than nine o'clock for everybody else. 
um, and apparently there were a bunch of transactions and the price ended up shooting up a bunch um, before it was even live for a lot of other people now um, one thing I just wanted to uh, note is there is a transaction history here um, right on the exchange that you can actually check uh, so I'm gonna go all the way back so if we look here, I'm all the way back as far as you can go. I'll go to the previous and then go back. So this is the last, or I should say the first two uh, transactions that were made. You can see the value was $1,880. It was 650 KDA, which got them 374,196 KDS. Now that was 10 uh, hours ago. So if we click on this, it will take us right to the block explorer. And we can see here that this transaction was made uh, at 1259 31 UTC so uh, you know if you convert it to EST um, it was about 859 a.m. and if we add the 31 which is about a half a second uh, obviously um, the first transaction was about a half a second before nine o'clock so uh, if it was to launch uh, at nine there was you know a half a second where people started making transactions uh, now I will check this one also and you can see this was at 1301 which um, you know without converting that that would be 901 a.m. so the very very first transaction um, according to this um, which I would just assume that it is correct and would be keeping record I don't know why they would not have it here um, is a $1,880 transaction of 650 KDA at about 30 seconds before nine o'clock so um, I guess if you want to come to the conclusion uh, that people were trading way beforehand I guess that is up to you uh, all of the information and everything is public on the blockchain so I don't really think they have anything to hide which is why I'm very confused why so many people are kind of uh, freaking out about this um, something that a lot of people might not be aware of uh, if you have a ton of people all coming to one website all at the same time trying to do the same thing uh, a lot of times it will screw up for multiple people when you have hundreds and thousands of people and you have to think uh, pretty much you know everybody in the world all trying to get on KD swap at the exact same time um, it's gonna slow things down it's gonna screw things up it's going to cause glitches and it's going to cause failed transactions um, I would just assume that that would be expected now people um, purchasing at the highest possible slippage I think was like if we go back to the swap and look here quickly so 20 is the max slippage so if you're executing that price um, I mean you can only expect to pay a much higher uh, price with that slippage um, I mean because that's you know just kind of how that works so um, you know if you have a ton of people trying to get a bunch of transactions in people have their slippage maxed out it's kind of understandable why uh, maybe your buy-in price would be kind of high right in the beginning um, and uh, you know I think it shows here that it was a slow uh, kind of progression up uh, they got the chart here too you know so uh, it kind of shows that big spike there in the beginning it did go from about uh, 0 0.02 all the way up to 0 0.09 and then you know kind of came down when a lot of these people that bought um, very you know got in very early um, just probably dumped their bags and then it's just kind of leveled out now so um, I think this is normal I don't really see any evidence in my opinion of there being some sort of malicious uh, transactions or something going on here so I uh, just wanted to give my opinion and kind of clear that up for maybe any of the viewers here um, that might have a question about that so uh, yeah I'm still very bullish on KDS and KDL uh, I know a lot of people are involving uh, this situation with CADEX uh, I think CADEX is a completely different exchange and we should not really compare the two um, they're all running on the same you know modules uh, the KD swap or uh, Cadena swap uh, code and all that so they're all coming from the same thing uh, that codes been verified you know obviously um, so yeah really shouldn't be any confusion I don't think uh, if you guys have any question you know you can always uh, hit up the Cadena or sorry KD swap uh, team and uh, you know ask them any questions that you might have so um, I hope that helped
All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video on KD Swap and how to get the KDS token. And I also hope addressing the FUD kind of cleared some of that up as well. So um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and share it with a friend. Uh, make sure to subscribe and tick that notification bell so you guys can see my future content uh, similar to this. We pretty much focus on everything Cadena and Flux um, and other great projects. So um, that's gonna be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Peace.